I guess you can say my life has always been kind of. Uh, it sounds like the start to a punk song. Drenched, yeah, drenched into in, in like religion because I grew up Mormon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I may not be there. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. I have anger. Would you be cool if I recorded this time? Yeah, I don't want it at all. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, what I do is a hobby where I talk to people literally about anything they want to talk about. What are common um, uh, topics? The funnest ones are things about that you strongly believe are true. So, something that you're willing to not like. It's This is not an argument. This is not a debate. Yeah, 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 of course. But something that really strongly motivates you or something that you know that you can't be wrong about. Those are the fun back Ooh, and forth. Because if it's be like... About. I agree that Old Navy's better than Banana Republic and you don't really yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. We could talk about it for like a second, but then you're like, <laughs> I guess whatever, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. What's something that, that you know you can't be wrong about? Well, me Oh, by the way, I'm tied by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Aaron. What's um, Aaron? Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. How do you spell that? A A R O N. A A wrong? Yep. And then. <laughs> I, first, I'm just going to know. No worries. We aren't going to track it down. <laughs> I'm tied, by the way. It's nice, nice to meet you. Uh, so, something that you know you can't be wrong about? Oh, man. So yeah, I feel like you guys already got into religion. If you so. want, we can do it again. Oh, man. I love, I mean, especially with that guy's cream. Oh, my God, he got a sign now. Oh, yeah, yeah. He must be He's... born again. Yeah, yeah. At least I know I don't need glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want, you want to knock out religion in, like, a quick sec? Um, let's see. I'm also really big into politics. Um, I don't know a lot about politics. That's fair. That's fair. But it's whatever you want to talk about. Um, you can take okay. the pick. What do you feel more confident about? Hey, thanks. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Random stranger gave me candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, do you? What do you feel more confident about? Your religious beliefs or your? Way more confident about my religious beliefs, my politics. My mm-hmm. politics. So we can talk about my religious beliefs. Okay. You want to do it for five minutes? Yeah, sure. All right. So, what religious beliefs are we talking about? Uh, I'm a Christian. Um, that, I, that's a lot of different things. I know, right? I'm uh, part of the Protestant denomination. Okay. More specific. There's a really good his- history behind the Protestants. There is, yeah. More specifically, I get into Anglicanism. Church a lot Anglican. of good history behind Anglicanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, only you, because I, I try to get as close to Catholic without being Catholic. Um, why is that? Do you that know the whole history of like the Protestant church? It's like King Henry is just like... You're not going to tell me I can't get a divorce. Screw you guys. Yeah. And he's just like, I want to be a baller in my own yeah, place. Yeah. Screw you, Pope. And the Pope's like, get the assassins out. Like, they were so baller back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They Plantagenet were, they were. Dynasty, man. No, uh, this is post War of the Roses. I'm sorry. I'm a nerd. No, I'm a no history. it's okay. History. Yeah. All right, so Anglicanism or Protestant, um, what's like a really strong claim in that that you think is true? Like, I think it's true. Um, um, like God exists, maybe. Yeah, God Just keep exists. it keep it nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great one to start with. <laughs> okay, so like the whole thing is, I'm not. I will ask questions, but it's not like a you're wrong. It's just like how'd I you understand. get there? Trust me. And we might see the eye and eye and a lot more stuff than you imagine. But what I'm trying to figure out is, are you using a reliable way to get to your conclusion? And typically, my my advocacy is I don't know is a good answer, option. Yeah. That. So like what. How confident are you that a God exists? Um, so I'm very certain. I'm, I'd say 100% certain. If we, um, if I were to define 100% for you, just as a frame of reference, so I won't assume. Mm-hmm. Um, 100%. There's no way you could be wrong. You have zero doubt. No evidence in the future will change your mind. No evidence in the past will change your mind. You're mm-hmm. close-minded on the position. Hmm. I actually had this talk not so long ago about. But what happened if we found extraterrestrial like extra life? Yeah. And it had me shook for a second because I was like, ooh, if I did, there's no mention of that um, in the Bible. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, there's mention of creatures that, that we can't find, um, but there's no mention of, um, like, extraterrestrial life that... Uh, there's mention in the Bible, and if we did find it, it would... Oh, man, I don't know if I'm 100% now. Only because I remember coming away from that conversation and saying... Man, I don't know what I would do, what my answer would be biblically to that. And so... And you know me, I like how they don't know. Yeah, yeah. And so, okay, I'd change it to, I'd change it to 98. 98? Okay, 98. 98. Um, 98%, that's pretty high. I mean, would you mind if I asked you, how did you get so confident? Yeah, um, or what so, got you to that 98% confidence? Okay, so, um, I guess you can say my life has always been kind of, uh... It sounds like the start to a punk song. Drenched, yeah, drenched into, in, in like religion, because I grew up Mormon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so being involved in the Mormon church was interesting, 
Um, my family left when I was about eight years old, um, became Protestants. Um, I didn't really go to church with them that often. I got invited by a friend. Got involved in the church young, um, and when you're young, you tend to be really um, driven emotionally. And so, like, I had the emotional appeal to, to God. Um, and so, I just dove into it more and more and more and more, fell off, came back to college, got reignited through campus ministry, um, and just had some really supernatural, like, uh, encounters. Oh, whoa. Can. Those are huge. Yeah, those are big. Supernatural um, encounters? Like, sorry to interrupt you. I didn't mean to. Go ahead. No worries. It's all right. Just, supernatural encounters? Yeah, I just had... Um, you know, dreams... Um, what do you say is, like, not... the most important thing that happened to you to get you to the 98%? Like, the best thing that got you to the 98%? Like, there might be a lot of things, but, mm-hmm. like, what was the most influential thing? most influential thing? Um, I would have to say... Man, nothing has really been able to... to reassure my... Um, my belief in creation as well as Christianity has. And so, like, creation. I'm very logical. I mean, men are, t- typically. And so, like, I really like to dissect um, the ins and outs of, of everything. And, and Christianity was the first thing that really satisfied everything. Um, it was satisfying? So, yeah, it was satisfying. Did you so. say everything's a creation? Did I hear that right? Say you think you believe everything's a creation? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, except for God. Even for empty space? Like what we're expanding into? Yeah, you is mean, that also the creation? Universe expanding. Yeah, what it's expanding into? I think it's just no. I don't think it's things that are have been created yet. I guess I think the Lord's still creating things. Oh, this is really interesting. Yeah, I think the Lord's still creating. I think it's, it's funny because this is really interesting. In, in Genesis. Oh my gosh! It's, I know. In, in, this is the first time anyone's ever said that. Yeah, no worries. In Genesis, um, I mean, God spoke. Mm-hmm. into existence mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. and one way I like to, to rationalize you know the claim of you know the Big Bang and things like that is like everything is just trying to catch up with what the Lord has said and so like it's expanding oh wow and that's so, a like, weird that's a really quote way to put it everything yeah. is catching up to what everything is catching up I'm, I'm, you can no keep talking don't mind me and so um, yeah I, I, that's how I view it I just think of you know the Lord spoke and it's still an expanding process. And I'm not saying that, you know, that's like limiting God. I'm not saying that God can't create everything. Right. It's just I guess the way he decided. In it. our observable universe, is everything there created? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do we have examples of things that are not created? Um, like, can we point to a rock and say, like, okay, that wasn't created? Or, like, I don't think so. a vacuum and say, that wasn't created? Or, like, a light switch and say, that. Like, is there anything that we can use as a frame of reference? I mean, I. I mean, I, I can think you can point to like coldness as just being like the absence of heat, mm. or like I see things that things that haven't been created are just the absence of things that have been created. So could, like, could I say then, is your idea that everything's created supporting the ninety-eight percent such that if you didn't have that belief, your confidence would drop more? Yeah. So it's like ninety-eight to ninety-seven, yeah, even. I, I mean, like if. I mean, I don't think that's another thing. Jesus. Um, I mean, from a theological standpoint, wasn't created mm. through things. Everything was created through him. Everything was created. everything was created. Yeah. And so, Jesus. I mean, I mean, there are some denominations that think that Jesus is the first creation. I mean, there's there's a verse that mentions him being the first born sure. of God. And so, like, uh, but I, I disagree with that only because um, I think Jesus is from everlasting. But then his physical body. Um, I mean, I, there's so many debates on that. Like. Can I in the Christian world, go ahead. Would you mind if we go back to the creation? Yeah, yeah. If everything's created, yeah. But we don't have examples of things that are not created mm-hmm. that we can like also test and measure and study. Yeah. How can we say with confidence that anything's created? I, I'm mm-hmm. wondering. Like, I tend to recognize things that are created by comparing them to things that are not created. Yeah. But how about this design? I can tell something's been designed by comparing to something that's not designed. Yeah. I can tell what a table is because I know what things that are not a table is. Like yeah. if I had a sock drawer that I could only tell you socks but I'm not able to recognize what something that's not a sock looks like and I open up the clothing drawer and I pull out a piece of clothing I say these are socks the quick question would be like do you know what things that are not socks look like no but I'm very confident that these are socks it's like well until you have a firmer reference you can't really say that with a lot of confidence Mm -hmm. if we don't have an example of anything that's not created how are you saying anything's created created. yeah if everything is created in this worldview 
that's that's really good. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's that's. Wow. You have me stumped. Uh, can I throw something out of you? Yeah. And my goal isn't really to stump you. It's just yeah. to work it out. Um, is creation really what's getting to the ninety-eight percent? Because it seems like we don't have we don't have a it seems like we don't we seems like we don't have a way to recognize what creations are. But if that's the case, then what's really getting into that ninety eight percent? Is it the um, the feeling of satisfaction that you get from believing in it? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, um, because you, I think you would agree you're logical. You wouldn't agree that just because something's satisfying means that it's true, yeah, right? Absolutely. So, what is getting into that ninety eight percent? Um, I would think. Um, hmm. Actually, no. I would, I would go back on that. And Let's say do it. That the ninety-eight percent. I yeah. mean, it does come from the sense of creation. I know that. Man, I'm not good with words, and 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 so like it's hard to like rationalize, and like verbalize what I'm trying to think. But take your time. I'm not rushing. No worries. And you can get up anytime you want to. No worries. Okay. Um, Frame of reference, going back to the frame of reference point where I don't have anything to say that, if I can't point at anything and say that's uncreated, um, and then so how do I know if anything can be Just really to created? clarify. What, what do you mean? Your worldview is that everything is a creation. Yeah. The strongest proof that you have for that is what? Everything that's been... That's already in creation, I guess. So everything so that's already created. in creation is existing, things that exist. Mm -hmm. I would look at, if I asked you prove that something exists, you can point at something that exists and say, there's your proof right there. Mm -hmm. But because something exists isn't necessarily proof that it was created. Like, I would need proof of creation to demonstrate creation. I need mm -hmm. proof of existence to prove existence. And it seems like you're pointing at existence and using that as proof to support creation. And I'm wondering... How do you recognize something's been created? Because hmm. I can agree with you that it exists, but how do you prove that it's created? I think the complexity of of the universe that we live in. Okay. And so, like, I mean, I look at the human body itself, um, and, and and other animals around us, and um, the earth, and and the heavens, and it's just. It may be my bias of just growing up in around church, or that, as a human kind of, and a, an animal. Yeah, yeah. That that I don't think that we're animals, but but you also agree that God made simple things too, right? Yeah. So why does complexity strictly support it? Uh, what do you mean? Define simple. Um, not complex. Like you say, there's things that are complex and not complex, right? Yeah. Uh, I, no, I think there's. But some, everything was created. I think there simplicity. I think there's. Okay, I think there's very big or vast creativity even in the simplest things. Oh. I mean, you can look at. I mean, you can look at. I get uh, it. I get it. A speck of pollen. I get it. You know, and, and, and go under a microscope and see the complexity that it actually is. I get it. And yeah, or an atom. If you just look at an atom. Yeah. Are you saying then that complexity is is what's helping you support this belief that everything was created, or is it that's this proof for God, like, or is it like all in the same umbrella? It's like it, things, complex things exist, mm -hmm. therefore God exists. Is that? Mm. I'm on a train of thought. Sorry. Go for it. Um, so, oh man, I'm losing it. Um, basically. Another thing that also gets points to the 98 thing that, that I can think of mm. on the top of my head is um, the fact that, and how do I put it in the words? I'm sorry, I'm not. No, it's okay. You got maybe a little tick there or something. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like a breasting thing. Yeah, no, it's, it's insane. Um, I'm sorry, it might be a couple minutes. Not no, my whole, point, my whole point is for people to take a long time to think about stuff there's this thing called like slow thinking fast thinking yeah and i feel like when people give knee jerk reactions they aren't giving themselves the opportunity to critically think about the stuff that they believe and the whole premise of this is let's talk about something you really believe to be true i'll try to have a stimulating conversation with you and i'll give you the time that you need to think about it and hopefully when you're gone you can also keep thinking about it if you see me again any other new topic you want to talk about it i just think it's good to think about stuff yeah yeah how do you explain how would you explain 
the the systems that are observable in, in the universe, the, like like com the reliance of stuff, like the complexity yeah, of the universe. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 even at a, like anatomical level, we can we can find structure and order. Yeah, so, I mean physics. If you go in physics, you can find laws, you can find rules, things that you know happen in chemistry. You know, and so like so complexity is proof of design. Mm, is I that think, what you're saying? Yeah, going back to the complexity. Can I throw something out? Yeah. If I had a light bulb mm -hmm. that took one step to screw into a hole, mm -hmm. and I had another light bulb that took a thousand steps to screw into a hole, mm -hmm. but they both made the same amount of light, which would you say is better designed? Sure. This one that has one step versus the thousand step one? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? The former, yeah. It seems to be the case that simplicity is the hallmark of design, mm -hmm. not complexity. And I think it's really interesting that you're pointing at something very complex as proof of the design. Mm. When we have uh, a well understanding, basic appreciation for simplicity, mm -hmm. why do you look at complexity and say, that, oh, that's proof of a grand designer? Well, I go back to the simplicity thing. That, I mean, I don't think that simplicity, I mean, I guess we're getting caught up in definitions, but like, simplicity, um, that's subjective to what to what you. To but what I could make a system where these systems that you pointed out aren't relied on each other, which would be simpler than the system we have currently. Oh, okay. You're saying that you could you could think of something that would be simpler yeah. than what we have right now. It seems that we have a very complex, interrelated, interdependent system currently that we don't need to. We like imagine designing this out from ground one again. Yeah. Well, this I'm, wouldn't. This level of complexity wouldn't necessarily be indication of. Grand design. Why invent fire when you can just make things hot? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so why is complexity getting you to the ninety-eight percent? Hmm. hmm. I think. I think the fact that complexity exists, so it's complex. Yeah. So definitely, so very complex things steps, exist. Yeah. Multiple steps. Yeah. Versus the one step. Yeah. I'm still trying to rationalize that. Um, and they both do the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And both do the exact I could duct tape, if you had a car, I could duct tape another engine to that car, making it more complex, but so you don't need an engine. Yeah. You don't need another one on it. But I could, be, I could do like 14 more engines on it, so that's not helping the problem, right? So I'm wondering, like, wouldn't the best design be the most simple? And is if we agree that this is sort of complex and we can even think of simpler systems, hmm. Why would we then point to complexity of the universe as proof of the designers? Yeah. Um, it's deep. Hmm. It's deep. I, I don't know. Do you think your 95% is justified right now? No. I mean, not in, not in at least in, in the words that I have. <laughs> but I can I throw something out? Yeah, yeah. If I had a coin, did I do this example with you already? No. I love this example so much. Okay. Let's pretend it's like a quarter, right? It's not a trick coin. And I catch, I flip it up in the air, catch it. It's on the back of my hand, right? And I don't know if it's heads or tails. So you know if it's heads or tails? Um, no. Okay. So we can go to science, and we'll say, hey, make a lab, flip a thousand coins, come back to me, and they say 50-50. I'm like, crap, that's not conclusive, mm -hmm. right? So I could have. Um, a very satisfying belief that the coin landed heads up, but it may not affect this, right? Just because I'm satisfied thinking that it's heads doesn't necessarily mean that it's heads, right? And let's see, I can believe that the universe is so complex that it has to be heads, right? But that may not even be a really good argument to determine if it's true or not, if it's actually heads or not. And the same thing could be said for like, I don't know, um, verses that I read in books. It seems like this seems to be completely independent to a lot of different methods that I could use. Science or otherwise, to come to a conclusive decision. And in that situation where I lack conclusive evidence, I think I don't know isn't necessarily just an option. I think it's the best choice. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are wary of saying they don't know, but I think in the situation where you don't have enough conclusive evidence to know either way, I don't know is the best answer. What do you think? No, that's a really good way of putting it, yeah. So. Do you have enough conclusive evidence to get you to 98% mm. that God exists? And you don't have to say it, and I don't know right now, but like, do you think your position is justified? No. I don't. Um, so
stuff to think about. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough. Aaron, I really appreciate this. Thank topic. you. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's been good. What is this? <laughs> it's Let's Chat. Is it, is it a YouTube channel? It's a YouTube channel. If you scan that, you'll see all the YouTube stuff. But really, I'm working on a way to talk to people about anything that they strongly believe. And it's a wide gamut of stuff that didn't have to be about religion. But, like, people tend to not put a lot of thought into the stuff that they believe to be true. And